Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we are taking a look at Mario Circuit Reverse Trick um, in the second half of the Wild West Tour for the Monty Mall Cup. Hopefully giving you guys a good idea of how to maintain Gobo throughout. Um, I have got a non-stop combo for this and how to take advantage of all the obstacles and coins on this level to rack up those high scores. Right, so first of all, obviously, we're going to talk through Driver Kart Glider Setup. We have a fair few high-end options, you know, seven possible choices with Peachette probably be the one most of us will have been it's so common in terms of um sorry as it seems it came so early it's not a newly acquirable driver I think it's day one um and we've got a bunch of other guys who are probably harder to get for me personally I don't have Build Mario who comes with hammer a good special skill Mario Swimmer Swimwear which comes to Dash Ring a very good special skill same for uh, Rosalina, uh, sorry, Peach Winter Time that also comes with Dash Ring. That'll help you maintain combo through. Some difficult sections. There's not many difficult sections on this track. I don't think there's anything that really proves too much difficulty. Luigi Classic is probably the best option. Lucky Seven is a great special skill to have. And in Frenzy, you're going to get a lot of hits with that. You have Luigi Penguin uh, with Ice Flower, and probably the same level is Mario Santa with Fire Flower. It's not a great one to have, um, but there are sections where there are walls, so at least it's not going to go off too far. So it may come in handy there. I'd say definitely the best would be um, Luigi Classic with Lucky 7. Then I'd say Peach Winter Time or Swimwear Mario with Dash Ring and Peach Jet, followed by probably Hammer, uh, Builder Mario, and then Mario Santa and your uh, Penguin Luigi. When it comes to car options, plenty of choices. We have the very common Cloud9. This is available in your shop. Uh, I invested one ticket extra to get it to level six. We needed one more. And it comes with Jump Boost Plus, which is by far the, the best special skill to have on this level, seeing as it's a trick level. Um, so I'm going in with that. You do have plenty of other high-end options. Look, we've got a whole seven carts that are high-end for choice. So... You know, we'll, we'll be covered on this track. I, I hope most people will be. We have Happy Ride, which was the one that was available for purchase. Um, Jab Bolt 3, just in case I ever needed it. Mini Turbo Plus. It's a good it's a good special skill to have, but it's not high enough level to, to beat the level 6 Cloud 9. I do have Bumblebee or Queen Bee. A V, no, no, Queen Bee, not the V version. <laughs> um, a level 4 with Dash Panel Plus. But Dash Panel's... Not as good a special skill to have. Um, I've got plenty of other options. I, I definitely say Jump Boost Plus is the best special skill that you want to go for. And then um, Mini Turbo Plus. Other than that, there's not many other great ones. Jump Boost Plus with Gilded Prancer. Carrot Cart does come with Mini Turbo Plus. Then when it comes to glider options, we have plenty of choices again. Seven high ends and one super. The super is... The, the less common oil paper umbrella, which are almost at level four there with red shell plus, but I'll definitely be going in with purple oil paper umbrella. Uh, it's gotta be the best with mushroom plus. If you get mushroom frenzy, you're gonna be racking up a lot of points from that. You have peach Hanafuda, which comes with mega mushroom plus, which isn't so great. Bullet bill parachute, also not a great special skill. Silver bells, not a great special skill, but with Luigi, you might get some sound horn hits. Sweetheart glider with banana plus, and then we have Blizzard Balloons with Bullet Bill Plus. So definitely Mushroom Plus is, is going to be your best option. After that, I'd probably say Banana Plus and uh, Red Shell Plus. Um, with Super Horn Plus only really if you've got Luigi Classic. So let's get into these two runs. What, Monty? Oh yeah, I thought I, was, I thought I was looking at a different track there. But no. Um... Yeah, so I've got two runs. There's my non-stop combo. This, I think it's full frenzyless. I wanted to, I did a, a good run, which racked up a really high score, a nice two coin plus, coin uh, frenzies there. And, but I wanted to do, okay, it looks like we get one mushroom frenzy in the 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 um, no frenzyless run. It's not frenzyless. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I did a lap without it being frenzies because I wanted to show you how to take every single section. So we'll take this at half speed, um, then we'll look at the next one at normal speed. Right, straight from the off, you can get from here to the first jump boost if you want, 
or you can get in a little mini turbo, which is what I like to do before, because it doesn't you don't really lose anything. Um, you'll get the jump boost after this, which means you can start turning to build up your 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 mini turbo without losing much. Um, then go make sure you go up the side to get that jump boost. Coming off here, you can opt to go to the um, up to the left there, but I choose to go in the inside lane just so I get hits with my mega mushroom. And it saves us there. From through here, you can just pure turn right and hold it down as long as you like. Because that coin will help maintain your combo. And then you can release to get to here. From this dash panel, you shouldn't have any difficulty getting to here. But you can get a little mini turbo in there if you need to. I think I just don't get one in. You can get one in there as well. Um, or release it there at least. Coming from here, you want to... Just pull up and start turning to the right. Now this section, you want to be taking this at a nice angle, getting this as soon as possible, so far right of that ramp, and then you go to the far left of that ramp, just to make sure that you get the jump boost, because sometimes you can overshoot it. Be wary of using a mushroom there, because that can mean that you overshoot it as well. Um, so between these two dash panels, it's a mini turbo uh, plus to connect. Here you can get a mini turbo, then slide to the right, Get another mini turbo in fairly easy lining you up for here where you would want to try and stay as close to this middle line to make sure that you get all these jump boosts and set yourself up for getting one of those coins um but sometimes it can be a little bit difficult if you're carrying a lot of speed going into them through here holding my Drift after that jump boost. Remember, you get a little bit of extra time from that jump boost. Then turn in again. You can get two mini turbos in there and then take the ramp. Going up here, setting myself up nicely for getting two ramps this time. As soon as I've got a fairly good lead. Then getting a little mini turbo before going up here. The jump boost will get you to this dash panel nicely. And like I before, starting to hold your turn get hit in the back again green shell protecting us release your mini turbo to get to this dash panel this dash panel will take you to here but again you can get a little mini turbo in there if you want just for that extra combo you get another little mini turbo in there which just adds one more to it taking it to a hundred times combo already then we glide up and so it's holding it holding it holding it as far to the right as we can then aiming to the side, right to the left of there, getting that jump boost plus. Then when you land, you're going to have plenty of time to be able to build up your mini turbo. So you don't need to have started turning into it. Release the mini turbo to get us to here. Then I'll hit the dash panel. Start turning to your left. Hold it, just make sure that you get into a position where when you release, you're going to have plenty of room to be able to get a, a right turn there. You see, I take it a bit too far to the right then and it throws off my uh, position it's going in you want to be in your middle track as well and then we finish that so it turned out to be it was frenzy list wasn't it non-stop combo so without frenzy i pulled a score of 19,517. now with frenzies i was expecting to pull more i was going to invest in peach at this tour as well so she's not a she's obviously not a level four which would have given me a, a better chance of getting frenzies. It's quite a big course with, with plenty of item boxes on, so there's a good chance of getting that triple frenzy. We start with the coin frenzy. Bad landing there, got the side. That's the problem, Like usually you wouldn't go off uh, but because I've got a frenzy. There's no barrier there for the grass. Already at 50 frenzy, 50 combo. And up here, getting down, pulling up. See, I just miss miss out on getting that extra glide time from that. You can use your items to maintain through this section as well if you're if you're not first fairly easily. So again, overshot it because I went too far to the left going in there. Missed the coin there. Mini turbo plus. Start. Charging it up again, mini turbo plus. Okay, coin. 
definitely there was room to get extra points here. And then we got another coin frenzy going through here. Racking up loads of extra points with that. And glide down, glide up. Take the fast. We're going this, yeah, this, this was the early days. That's what happens when you take the inside. If you go too far over to the left, you overshoot the second one. Coming to before there. Set up for that. No. Nah. We hadn't got it down. So you can see how important it is to get stay as close to the middle of the track when going through all those. Otherwise you just end up overshooting one for sure. And with that though, racked up a really nice score. Over 24,000, almost 25 beating my best by 2,000, which has, has produced a pretty nice score for Monty Mole. Um, yeah, so hopefully that guide, this is one that we've done before. I don't know if I maintained combo throughout last time, and it definitely had a frenzy involved. I don't know why on this one it looked like I had a mushroom frenzy, because I don't remember getting a mushroom frenzy. Oh, uh, maybe earlier on? Oh, and, and it was the level before. Okay, so yeah, I'd, I'd previously recorded one a bit before that and restarted. So yeah, a frenzy list run, definitely possible. Um, did I use my item ticket? Actually, I don't know. No, I never used my item ticket as well. So it's not one that you have to use your item ticket on. Please tell me I used it in this run though. I think I used it at the very end on this one quickly spun it got rid of them then yeah spun my item ticket so that was a little bit risky really because i could have got a frenzy and i would have missed out on so many extra points but on levels where you don't really need an item ticket you, you, it can be easy to forget so just remember maybe set a, set a point in the track preferably in the towards the end of the first lap definitely beginning of the second lap set a point at which you kind of just religiously click that item ticket um, otherwise like what I did there was I, I held it back to save if somebody hit me with a you know lightning strike which can come in handy but it does run the risk of you you forgetting to use it um, okay well, that's all for this one hopefully you found it enjoyable helpful if you did please leave a like on the video hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content that's all from me see you guys soon